started. We did a bit of actually at the beginning of November. It's not Halloween or anything like that. Um, but yeah, this is art that was done actually by um, my brother-in-law, because they're really involved with the Day of the Dead, and my family is too. Um, so uh, hopefully learning about this art will give you a better understanding on how my family and how a lot of Hispanics celebrate the Day of the Dead. So first I'll be talking about the Day of the Dead art, and then I'll talk about how I identify with it. So um, during this time, I know my time is a bitch. <laughs> During this time of year, um, a lot of cemeteries, especially in New Mexico, are really decorated with a lot of bright colors, with um, papel picado, which is really bright, like neonish paper. And um, there's actually a lot of skulls. It sounds kind of creepy, but it's not. <laughs> They're really like decorated. And this is an example that's actually handcrafted in Mexico. And they use a lot of things like this in cemeteries. And also, uh, people make altars for the people that have passed away, and they place like food offerings to them, and a picture which symbolizes the person. Like in high school, um, my Spanish class did this every year. We'd make like an altar, and everybody would take food like this. But um, I actually have a lot of stuff like this at home, because <laughs> my family's really big on the Day of the Dead. Um, this is actually the most um, used symbol of art. It's uh, skeletons like you'll see on the um, poster as well. A lot of skull skeletons, bright colors uh, meaning. And these especially are seen on the altar. And I'll talk to someone if they be really careful. <laughs> Please. Yeah. <laughs> um, it sounds kind of like morbid, but it's not. It's just a happier way to look at death and um, celebrate the people who have passed away instead of like mourning and being all sad about it. Because it's a lot of, it's like a religious part too. You um, religiously think that their spirit has gone off to like a better place, so you don't um, cry so much over it. So you look at it bright colors and stuff like that. Um, the Day of the Dead. There's a lot of festivals that I attend almost every year with my family, uh, mainly in Santa Ana, and they have um, a lot of like stands with food. Uh, there's music going on from different cultures that participate in the Day of the Dead, and. Um, like towards the end of the night, there's like people who dress up and walk around. And it's kind of scary because there's like the Lady of the Dead who's the most popular. And she's seen like all over Mexico in different um, paintings and stuff. And she's dressed all in black and she's like, she has like a veil. She looks like an all in black um, bride. And they paint their faces like white with like black skeletons. It's creepy, but it's really cool and interesting. <laughs> Um, what they do is basically they mock the dead, like they joke about it, so they don't get too upset over it. Like there's a skeleton who's too skinny or like too dumb, so like they can't deal with you or something like that. <laughs> um, it's really cool. Um, how I identify with it is because my family has always been a part of it since I was little. I remember, so when I was little I was scared, and now I think it's really interesting and cool because it's something that um, remains in my family from my Mexican culture. And also because of the religious part of it, because I'm Catholic, and we attend Mass every year on that day, no matter what day it lands on. Um, but yeah, I also uh, sometimes volunteer with parts of my family for the festivals every year. And there's a lot of um, Mexico souvenirs. Like if you ever go to Mexico, throughout the entire year they have souvenirs of that, not just during uh, the Day of the Dead. So yeah, hopefully learning about all this art will give you a better understanding on what the Day of the Dead is. And I talked to you about the Day of the Dead art and how I identify with this culture. So yeah, hopefully now whenever you see that, you don't get freaked out about it and you understand that it's celebrating death and not trying to creep you out or anything. <laughs>